as an evangelical, ending hunger is a scriptural mandate. It's a moral imperative. It's a spiritual impulse. Uh, Jesus, of course, speaking to us in Matthew 25, said, for I was hungry and you gave me uh, to eat. But even more deeply, you know, when we learn about the Jericho Road and, and the Good Samaritan, it's really about the systemic structures that contribute to people being hungry and abject poverty. And so scripture, the New Testament, the Old Testament is filled with this call, uh, this passionate call to, to deal with hunger at its very basic level and at its most immediate level. I'm a Christian, and Christians, we transact in hope. And to believe that we can end extreme hunger by 2030, in my lifetime, I'm 41 years old, to say that we were the generation to be able to deal with this, you know, not for political reasons, not for partisan reasons, but because of our commitment to the gospel and our love of people. I think it, it's something that I can celebrate and pass on to my two sons and say, hey, people of faith and people of goodwill, uh, work together uh, to end uh, abject hunger, and I, I think it'll be a real jubilee. You know, I, I, I spent some time in, in Africa, and I went to a, to a hospital where I met a man and his beautiful daughter, and she was undernourished, and she suffered from stunting because of this undernourishment, and I remember the dad's name, his name is Hector because that's my father's name. And as I sat there, he was feeding her. He was feeding her. And I said to him, hey, sir, are you worried? And he said to me, Reverend, I'm a little worried, but I'm more hopeful. Because years ago, I didn't have this development, this seed, these agricultural plans, this sustainable development. And when I heard Hector's story, I said, there's hope and I live hope filled that that little girl who maybe years ago would have died of malnourishment is now being nourished, can go back to school, get an education, and contribute to the future of this world. You want to know the truth? We're all Hector's kids. I live in gratitude to Bread for the World and its allies for what they do. That you know, Let me tell you my real story. My dad was a homeless man who lived under bridges till somebody stood up for him and said life can change. And it's really the message of bread and people who want to end hunger. This is your situation, this is your location now. But the end of the story hasn't been written. And God help us, we're going to help write a good ending. So thank you.